Thank you very much. It's my honor to have the President of Colombia with us. We have many things to discuss, including borders and trade and, uh, unfortunately, drugs and drug trafficking. And we're going to have a good long session. This was scheduled very quickly over the weekend, and uh, we look forward to uh, meeting. We're going to have uh, representatives from both sides. Many things to talk about. And uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you so much, Mr. President. It's always an honor to be here. As you know, we have been strong allies, not only defending democracy in the region, but also fighting corruption and drug trafficking. And you know the commitment we have jointly against those terrible threats. So it's a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you so much, Mr. President. We've been working very well together on drugs and on uh, trafficking, beyond drugs, trafficking in drugs and trafficking in lots of other things, unfortunately, human trafficking, which has become a very big problem. Uh, tonight, I'll be going, as you know, we'll be going to North Carolina. We have a big rally scheduled, and uh, that should be, I think, terrific. It's uh, thousands of people are already out there waiting. So uh, we're going to have, hopefully, a good time. We're going to make a lot of uh, different predictions tonight also. Uh, working very hard with the CDC, with everybody uh, in the uh, on a subject that has become a very big subject. Uh, the, our country is doing very well. Our professionals are doing really an incredible job. We're also working with other countries to help them uh, because they really have a fear of the unknown. We're working very much with a lot of other countries on, including Colombia, but we're working with a lot of other countries on helping them with respect to this problem. And uh, again, we're doing very well. Uh, some additional uh, people were reported. Uh, they're in good shape, but we have some additional people that were reported, and not very many in the United States. So uh, we will be having a news conference later. I'm also meeting with the pharmaceutical companies later on this afternoon. We have a big meeting with the biggest companies, really the most powerful companies, hopefully the smartest companies anywhere in the world when it comes to uh, drugs and vaccines, because we're talking about a vaccine, maybe a cure, if it's possible, so we'll see about that, but we're talking about a vaccine. And they're moving along very quickly. All of the pharmaceutical companies are moving along very quickly. But uh, you'll be invited to a part of that meeting. So we'll see you a little bit later on in the afternoon. And thank you all very much. Thank you. President Trump, what is the meaning of the U.S. to Colombian government to fight against drugs? Do you agree with the idea of spraying the U.S.? Well, you're going to have to spray. If you don't spray, you're not going to get rid of them. So you have to spray with regard to the drugs in Colombia. Yeah. And, and let me let me let me add, a, add yes, something will. that is very important. And we have to combine all the elements that we have. Obviously, precision spraying, but also the record heights that we reached in 2019 on manual eradication, and also dismantling the drug cartel. So we have to work on all the elements, and we have to be very strong against that crime. That crime is hurting our people, and it's hurting people everywhere. And we need to work jointly in that effort, as we have been doing so far. Uh, we're talking about Venezuela. One of the things we're talking about is Venezuela, a big subject for us. And uh, they're treating the people of Venezuela unbelievably badly. They don't have water. They don't have food. They don't have anything. And uh, we are talking about that. That's a big, that's a big topic of discussion. Yes, sir? Mr. President, if I, if I may add something yes, to that, it's, it's very important that we are stronger on sanctions against a dictatorship in Venezuela. Venezuela is running out of vaccines. They have destroyed all the healthcare system. So we have to, in this year, work together jointly so there's a political and democratic transition that is effective in Venezuela. What do you want to hear from pharmaceutical Well, we're talking, you know, this meeting was set up before, and that was about drug pricing. This meeting was set up a long time ago with the pharmaceutical companies, and that meeting was about drug pricing because uh, we brought the numbers down last year, first time in 51 years that the uh, drug prices prescription have come down. And I have a meeting scheduled on drug prices, but now we're going to make another subject, and that'll be probably the first subject, and that has to do with the vaccine. How are they doing? Is it possible to accelerate the rollout of the vaccine? Well, that's what we're going to find out. We'll know that. Uh, well, we've asked them to accelerate whatever they're doing in terms of a vaccine. Absolutely. Mr. President, is it safe or appropriate to be holding rallies during a public health crisis like this? Well, these were set up a long time ago, and others are. I mean, you could ask that to the Democrats, because they're having a lot of rallies. They're all having rallies. That's what they're doing. They're campaigning. But do you think it's safe? Are you worried at all? Uh, I think it's very safe, yeah. I think it's very safe. Do you think that the uh, international talks are going to actually start on the Say it. Uh, do you
you think that the inter-Afghan talks are really going to start as planned on Well, March we're going to find out, but uh, we're getting out. We want to get out. We had good meetings with the Taliban, and uh, we are going to be leaving, and we're going to be bringing our soldiers back home. We've been there for almost 20 years. It's a long time. We've done a great job in terms of getting rid of terrorists. Now it's up to other countries to get rid of those terrorists. Where's the violence against that happened then? Well, we're going to meet. We have discussions to go, but we've made a lot of progress. Okay? Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks, See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.